you. Easy. Big. Small. See, when you say big. Another video from the beach. When I tell you five mental shifts you have to make before you become a master presenter. You know, a lot of people want to become a master communicator. They want to be the prince of persuasion. They want to be the king of public speaking, but they don't understand that it's a different level of mindset. So I'm going to tell you the five shifts you have to make. Shift number one, don't try to impress people. Focus on serving people. We call it FOTA, FOTA, focus on the audience. Don't think about what can I say or do so that they like me. Don't be a like chaser, be a message leader. That's a shift number one. Shift number two is understand the more you sweat in training, the less you bleed in war. When it comes to presentation, when it comes to public speaking, it's not about practicing hard. I repeat, it is not about practicing hard. It's about practicing the right way. The more you practice the right way behind the scene, the more people will clap for you on the stage. Third shift is you can't see what you can't see. You need a mentor. You can't see what you can't see. You need a mentor. What do I mean by that? See, when you're making a mistake, let's say in your body language, when you're making a mistake in your voice or the structure of the presentation is not laid out in the right way, you can't see that. If you could see that, you would not make the mistake in the first place, right? So the quick analogy I can give you, I want you to think about this. A barber cannot cut his own hair. Barber has to go to another barber to get the haircut. In the same way, you can't see what's going on. You need somebody else to tell you, a coach, a mentor, somebody who has the experience, also the credibility to tell you exactly what you do. That's the third shift I want you to make. The fourth shift in your speaking that you have to make if you want to be a master presenter is understand it's not about hard work. It's not about smart work. I repeat, it's not about hard work. It's not about smart work. It's about framework. It's about the frame. What frameworks are you using to increase your confidence? What framework are you using to persuade the audience? What framework are you using to lead the decision that you want to draw out of the audience? It's about framework. And we teach inside the program all the frameworks that are needed to really become a masterful communicator and a powerful presenter and a powerful speaker because there is a speaker inside you. You have to unleash that, unchain that, unlock that and that's when your life changes. And the fifth shift is humility. Humility. I'm not talking about humility where, oh my God, I know nothing. I'm not talking about acting humility, you know, acting humble. I'm talking about real humility where when a mentor says that there are some challenges that you're facing, you have to have the humility to understand. I might be making a mistake for a long time. Doesn't matter. It's time for me to change. Sometimes I see a lot of times, you know, people saying, but I've always done it this way. I've always done it that way doesn't matter. I'll give you an example. Okay. A couple of days ago, I was coaching, you know, somebody reached out to us. I was not coaching him. Somebody reached out to us and said, uh, Vishal, I have to start my, I start my presentation and there is something wrong. So I said, go ahead. How do you start? And he said, I start with good morning. Happy to be here. Is everybody having a good time? Did you have lunch? Today's meeting. So I said, no, that's a boring way to start the presentation. And he said, but I've always done it this way. I said, okay, that's, that might be true. You have always done it this way, but are you willing to change? He said, I don't know about that. I said, no problem. We moved on. I talked to another person exactly how to start the presentation, how to lay out the presentation. A couple of days later, he closed a $10 million deal. Check this out. Last 10 days time, uh, I have managed to uh, uh, close a deal uh, for my organization, which is uh, till date the biggest deal in India. What is the what is the size of the deal? It's few million dollars. Okay, like, like less than 10? Around that. Around that. Uh, I'm saying, no, this is the biggest deal and that too, this COVID time. So that is why this has been highlighted uh, no, uh, globally uh, because of COVID situation and, and the obviously uh, in respect of India, the sizing I'm talking about. Yeah. So here's the thing. Most people are not humble to apply the real formula. They think I already know this. I have always done it this way. And that's why they still stuck for a long time in their speaking, in their career. If you want to change it, change it now so that you know exactly how to thrive. These are the five mental shifts you have to make in order to become a powerful speaker. So make sure you apply that and your life too can change. Remember, the sooner you become a powerful speaker, the longer you can enjoy that. Question I have for you is how much longer do you want to wait before you become a powerful communicator? How much longer do you want to just keep waiting, waiting and waiting? I want you to think about it today. Hope you have a great time. If you want to know more exactly how to be a part of our program, reach out to us. Give a call on the number that you see on the screen talk to one of our team members 
get the information, Hello. get into the training where I practically train you, mentor you, coach you to make you a powerful speaker and presenter. And the thing is, what we do is very practical. Also, what we do might not work for, for uh, people. Actually, I, I take it back. Not might not. It will not work for people who are too arrogant. Sometimes I have 25 years of experience. Instead of that being a credibility, it becomes an arrogant point of arrogance for some people. So if you're an arrogant leader who thinks who knows it all, but has problem paying his own bills or her own bills, somebody who thinks they are a masterful speaker, but the audience hates them. And if you think that you're the greatest speaker in the world where you're actually even having a tough time getting a promotion, then don't join our program. Our program is for people who are ready to make a change and shifts. But if that's you, if you are willing to make a change, if you're willing to learn the formula, if you're willing to learn the frameworks, the formulas, the templates that can take you speaking to another level, reach out to us, give us a call on the number that you see on the screen, Vishal Sarkar here, reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection, it's all about connection. I have actually public speaking fear, that's a silly stage fear. I can talk, I can teach hours together with respect to my subject, but whenever I go on stage in front of a big audience, so I'll get uh, nervous and uh, I have that stage fear. Yeah, I came to know my weakness, why I am getting stage fear, because our, uh, Bishal has told me that you are not accepting the appreciation that is given by others. So that's, that's why I, I was expecting perfection everywhere. So I came to know that I should take the appreciation positively I move forward. So that has built my uh, has built my confidence. Yeah. In fact, uh, um, uh, today I was taking a, just to share with all. I was today uh, addressing a group of people at NGO online for about an hour. Where you know, uh, so there is a uh, cancer society for which we conduct a CSR activity, and <coughs> their parents they come from all over India and uh, Tata Memorial. They guide them to an NGO. So all those NGO people, parents, I was addressing today for about an hour or so with my MD and a couple of them. So just just wanted to share some good. Wow, things. wow, that's that's amazing. Clap it up for for thank, for thank, Anup. Thanks, thanks. Thank. I presented an audience of one fifty people.